what's up here is a alternate version one this is going to be start to finish sepping using the gradient map actually this is a really easy method one stipulation is you have to have your part your art colored completely with a gradient map basically this is what the art is this is the map over it um, some pieces of art can have more than one. You could have like a flesh tone or whatever. Uh, it's a little trickier. Still very straightforward. Um, I'll show you how to how to get started. This is really simple. Um, it's just a matter of uh, duplicating your initial image and then getting to work. Uh, you can start with one way and move to the other. Basically, all your colors are here. These are going to be your colors when you. I'll put it and uh, you're pretty set that's about all there is to it basically all you're gonna do is turn the colors that you don't need white keep the one that you want black go to grayscale flatten it and then put it into your multi-channel which I'm gonna save here I'm not gonna go over it as in-depth here um, kind of did it in the other the other video but it's the exact same idea this is just a, another method of doing it pretty easy too it's actually uh, pretty flawless and there's not a lot uh, that can go wrong unless you're going as fast as I am in this video um, mainly it's just for time I don't want to make you watch a 20 minute video for something that should only take you know four minutes. Uh, basically you just move from color to color. Now we're going to do the gray. I do have some actions that do this, um, but they don't always work all the time, so I don't know if it's even worth it. Uh, Time-wise you might save uh, 30 seconds or something, but I guess that, that accounts for something in the long run. Basically you're just going to keep pasting these into your into your DCS here. I'm going to use the same colors as we did in the other episodes. And basically I'm just going to keep keep returning to the, uh, the history state of right before we started. So <laughs> This is the red. Image mode, grayscale, flatten, copy, New layer, paste. I'm going to take this to 186. Now I'm on orange. It goes pretty fast. And it's really flawless. You could take this and send it right to a printer. And unless they're they really don't know what they're doing there should be no issues with with, with this print because uh, not it all overlays a little bit it's just like illustrator like when you output the gradients it, it's exactly the same concept just uh, in a rasterized form grayscale flatten select all copy multi-channel new channel paste put in your order this was the orange, spot color, pick your Pantone 144, paste it in there, go back to your original, go back to your earlier state, we're going to do the yellow now, change everything white, sometimes if you turn them white it keeps more constant or you can just yank them down, but sometimes these little nodes move around on you, so I guess it's a preference if you feel <laughs> like risking it then it's it could work could not let's see grayscale flatten copy go in here new channel paste it um, put it over the orange I'm gonna go with a, a 116 okay go back to your initial only whites left uh, maybe I'll just do these black then black black knock it out knock it out knock it out mode grayscale flatten 
since I went reverse, I'll have to invert it. Select all, copy. New layer, paste. I'll put this before the black. Turn these all on. Pick a white. Spot color. Pantone, white, C. Very good. Go back and finish up with the underbase. Basically, the underbase is everything but the black and not all of the white or all of the gray. So, I mean, you could probably do all the gray, it just makes the gray lighter on the shirt. So, I'll do it white and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it way in. I'll even pull some of these. So, I like the gray to go on the shirt, it's dark enough. It's like printed black on any color shirt. It's the shirt's not really gonna alter it too much. Grayscale, flatten, invert, select all, copy. Well, I'm cut this one. Cut. Get rid of this. Don't save it. Close your history because you're done with it. Add a new layer for your underbase. Underbase. White. Sometimes even putting an underbase gray is good too. It gives a little more subtle tone, especially if you're going to use some different color inks. And then, there you have it. You have your full sept gradient map DCS ready to go. Save it. I'll put it to Illustrator. Very fast, very to the point. Not as simple as vector stuff, but same concept. Just got to manually uh, change your colors. That way, you're set, you're good to go. Here's a quick look through. Under base. Great. Red. Orange, yellow, white, black. Good to go. Hope this was helpful. Any questions? Let me know. If I went too fast, uh, watch again. Later.